Yes, I love airships. I've always been, even when I was a kid, I liked the idea of airships because they look so fantastic. If there's one thing I could see from the past, I think it would be a really big Hindenburg style airship flying over a city, you know, flying over. Um... They're even quite energy efficient airships because they don't go fast enough to produce terrible drag. They're relatively low friction. You don't need massive engines to power a very, very big airship. Yes, the legend has it, Hugo Eckner, who took over the Zeppelin airship building company, he was a notorious pacifist and very strongly anti-Nazi. And he was very unpopular in the 30s for his anti-Nazi uh, anti sentiments. Um, and there was supposedly a plan to call the Hindenburg the Adolf Hitler which he desperately didn't want because he was very anti-Hitler. So he named it the Hindenburg after Paul Hindenburg of the Weimar Republic before the Nazis could get their hands on it. I was just going to say the other interesting thing about airships for people who want to get into airships is Neville Shute, the novelist, actually worked with Barnes Wallace on the design of the R100. Barnes Wallace of Bouncing Bomb and Dam Busters fame. So I mean, if they could do it back then with pencils and pieces of paper, we should be able to make a cracking airship these days. Yeah, we should, definitely. Um, it's well worth reading the Neville Shoot book.